Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to uh, show you how to do an effect in Photoshop that I like to call uh, a soft glow effect. It's a, it's a pretty simple tutorial and it's, uh, it's probably meant for more of a beginner. Um, so uh, keep that in mind. But it's a, it's a nice thing for anybody to know. So, uh, <clears throat> so go ahead and follow through and uh, see if you can't learn something. Um, first thing that you can do is uh, pick a picture and uh, keep in mind that the final result is going to have kind of a hazy glow and uh, and you might want to pick a picture that uh, will represent that sort of a glow uh, well. Sometimes um, a good light source uh, can help with the final result. Like uh, in the bottom right hand corner of my uh, photo here there's a pretty good light source and that, uh, that will help. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just get started. Um, I'll uh, start with my layers over here to the right, and if you don't see your layers, go to Window, down to Layers, and you will see your layers pop up over to the right. And what we'll do is we'll uh, press Control J to uh, duplicate our layer. And um, <clears throat> on our new duplicated layer, we'll go up to uh, Filter up at the top, down to Blur, and down to Gaussian Blur. And uh, the settings for uh, Whatever picture you choose, you're going to have to play around with, but try to make it look similar to um, to mine. I'm going to choose a 7 pixel blur on this image. <clears throat> and then I'll press OK. Um, you want to make sure that uh, your foreground color is black and your background color is white. You can do make sure that that's set by clicking your default colors right here. You want black here and white here. OK. And... Uh, and then when you make sure that you have your colors like that, go ahead and go up to Filter with your duplicated layer still selected. You go up to Filter, down to Distort, and to Diffuse and Glow. And um, once again, you're going to have to play around with the settings here. Um, leave the grainy, uh, graininess to zero. I think I'm going to take the glow amount down a little bit to probably 13 and the clear amount down to 13 as well. And then I'll press OK and see how that comes out. And as you can see, it kind of washes out some areas and uh, leaves some other areas uh, about the same. And I'm going to go up to the uh, uh, opacity in, a, in our layers palette there. And I'm going to change the opacity to 60 and see what that looks like. And that's looking pretty good. So I'll leave it at uh, an opacity of 60. And uh, after that, I'm going to press Control e to merge our two layers. And uh, now, as you can see, we just have one layer once again over to our right in our Layers palette. Okay, now we'll go up to the top to Filter, um, <clears throat> down to Sharpen, and down to Unsharp Mask. We want our amount to be 500, our radius to be uh, 0.2, and the threshold to be 0, and we'll go ahead and press OK. And you're not going to see a big change here, but we're going to go ahead and repeat that step a couple times by repressing um, Control F. And we, we'll go ahead and just do that three or four times. So you can kind of see it change if, as you do this. And it's a very subtle, but uh, it does add to the, uh, the final effect of, the, uh, of our, of our um, soft glow. So, uh, now, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and uh, create a new layer. And this is where we're going to go ahead and create another light source. So let's go ahead and rename this layer uh, Light. And what we'll do is we'll select our polygrammatic um, selection tool. Uh, polygonal lasso tool is what uh, Photoshop calls it over on our tools palette. And if you're not seeing it, just uh, click and hold down and you'll, you'll see it as one of the options. And then just select that. And what you want to do is make kind of a, a click up at the top, kind of go down at an angle to make it a little wider down at the bottom. And just make a selection kind of like I'm making in my image. And then you should have something kind of like that. And then what you'll do is you'll go over to your uh, tools palette and you'll select your gradient tool. If you don't see your gradient cool tool, you'll see your paint bucket tool. And uh, click and hold down on it and then you'll see your gradient tool pop up. What you want to do is click on your radial gradient tool up at the top. And then you'll uh, click on your uh, edit uh, gradient area. And uh, select this one so that it's going from black to clear. 
And then what you'll do is select on your left slider there the color, and you'll uh, choose the color to be white instead of black. So we'll switch it to white, and we'll press OK. So it'll look like this up at the top. <clears throat> okay. And then what we'll do is we'll drag from the top down to the bottom. And I like to go a little bit past the picture, so go ahead and do that. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and press Control um, the minus to shrink it down a little bit, because it's like I said, I want to go a little bit past the picture so that I have some good color all the way through. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it like that. And um, I'm going to go ahead and go up to Filter, to Blur, and do a Gaussian Blur on that. I'm going to do that about 60 pixels, just to make it real blurry. And then um, <clears throat> I'm going to reduce that layer to 50%. And as you can see, uh, and go ahead and uh, select your marquee tool, and you can click off of it. And as you can see, there's some kind of hard edges there. So what we'll do is on our light layer, we'll uh, click down here to make a, uh, a new layer mask. Let me go ahead and zoom back in for you. I'll press Control 0 to make it 100%. So we've made this layer mask by clicking this layer mask button in our layers palette. What we'll do is we'll select an eraser, and we'll click our... Um, our settings up at the top, and we're going to make the hardness to zero. And the size of the brush we want a little bit larger, so let's go ahead and make that 800 or so. And uh, with our layer mask selected, we're just going to go ahead and soften up the edges of this light source. And as you can see, that's what that does. And if it, if you think that the opacity is a little too uh, too light, go ahead and bump it up a little bit. I'm going to bump mine up to 75% and maybe actually even up to 85 percent. There we go. And you can kind of move around that light source to wherever you think uh, looks best. I think, you know, there's a lot of good options for this picture. We'll just go ahead and stick it right there. And, uh, and that's about it. As you can see, uh, you have a completely different image than what you started with. Uh, here's what we started with. And here's what we finished with, with our soft glow effect. It uh, brightened up some areas and dulled some down, and it definitely added some, uh, some nice um, softness to some areas in the picture, like in the, in the branches. So I, uh, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please, if, if you liked the video, click the like button on uh, YouTube. And, uh, and uh, be sure to check out the other videos on my uh, blog, Glazefolio um, Design Blog. Thank you.